Today I'm going to show you how to take this image and turn it into this image so that we can laser engrave it and turn it into this. Hello and welcome to another episode of Laser Graffiti. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a program called the GNU Image Manipulation Program, otherwise known as GIMP. It is a free and open source image editor that's available at GIMP.org. So go ahead and head over and download that program if you don't already have it. Um, and we'll be using that to make these images ready to laser engrave. Alright, so uh, somebody sent me this image and first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to desaturate the image. Um, I already know that I like average as a desaturation. Um, you can try out the other ones as well. Um, and then we're going to come into colors and curves. So um, for most images, if you take the bottom dot and you move it over to the right a little bit and then just make this curve really steep, that usually works pretty well. Um, so then we're just going to take and adjust these dots until we get kind of what we uh, want out of this image. We want our whites really white and we want our blacks really black. How steep this uh, curve is will, sh will be how quickly it goes to white. So that looks pretty good to me. Um, this is again more art than science. Uh, and then we're going to come in. If you, you washed it out too much, you can add a filter. I like the artistic cartoon filter. Um, but that looks pretty good. So we're going to come in and we're going to export it. And so we're going to just call this one number four, put it on my desktop. And that one's ready to laser engrave. You have to press export twice. Don't know why. It just does that. All right. So now we're going to come in to something a little more challenging. This is a vacation photo that I'll be laser engraving on a piece of oval wood. So the first thing we want to do is come in, go to the selection tools, and we're going to create an ellipse. Um, that's because we're using uh, an elliptical shape piece of wood. Yeah, just about do it. Um, so uh, now that we have our ellipse all shaped the way we want it, uh, we're going to come in here and invert the selection and then we're going to feather it. Um, for this image I'm going to use a hundred pixel feather and then we'll just press delete. Now we're going to come back in, invert our selection again, so now we have uh, people selected here. And we're going to come in and do an image, a crop to selection. There we go. And then we're going to turn off the selection. Alright, and we're going to make this a little whimsical. So we're going to come in here and select this uh, luminous. tool here and we're just gonna add a little bit of whimsy. Why? I don't know. That seems nice. Alright, that's probably good. Okay. So now we're going to come in and do the same thing we did with the last image. We're going to desaturate it. And then we're going to come into the color curve. And we're going to bring it a little bit to the right. To make this a nice, severe curve. That looks perfect. Alright, great. So now, um, you can see my face got really washed out. So we're going to come in and do the artistic cartoon filter to it. Uh, if we click this little plus here, we can come in and it'll kind of give us an idea of what it is we're doing. That's good right there. Do that one again. Didn't give me quite as much as I want. There we go. That looks good. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and file export, export as. Uh, we'll 
just give this one a new name. Uh, vacation. One. And we're going to hit export twice. Alright, now it's export. Now we're going to head over to T2 Laser. We're going to get this set up on the laser engraver and see what we get. Okay, now we're going to jump into T2 Laser and go ahead and get this image engraved. So that last one we called it Vacation 1, so we're going to bring that in. Um, so we're going to want to select Grayscale. Uh, when we're working with T2 Laser, we want to work from left to right, starting uh, with whether we want it to be black and white, uh, dithered, or grayscale. I'm going to be using grayscale. Uh, dithered would work pretty good as well. Um, we're going to go do a horizontal engraving. Our speed, we're going to want it at 2500. That's for my laser at my settings. Um, I'll show you in a future video how to come up with your own settings. Uh, laser power 0 to 255 works fine on mine. Um, you may want to put your minimum laser power up if, uh, if you're not getting enough grays. Um, and then uh, your maximum power if your blacks are turning out uh, too charred, you can turn that down. Uh, and then we're going to come into resolution. Mine's going to be 0.1. And the piece of wood that I, I picked up from Michael's is a piece of basswood with a live edge. And it's got an engravable area of about 150 uh, millimeters wide. So we're going to put in 150 millimeters for my width. And that gives me uh, 116 on the height. And I'm looking at about 110 as my maximum engravable distance on the height. So I'm just going to change that. Um, so that gives me 142 width, 110 height. We're going to hit OK. And the last thing we need to do is set a starting point. I'm going to set a center starting point because that will be easy to find on the wood there and make it look nice and symmetrical. And we're going to hit uh, control laser which will generate the G code. And we'll just need to jog the laser over to the center point and then hit set workpiece origin and then hit send. So I'm going to go out to the garage and get this all burned up and we'll see how it turns out. And so here they are fresh off the laser engraver. A couple of things I probably would have done differently if I had it to do over again. These edges here on the Cheshire Cat were a little too straight. I probably should have feathered the edges. Um, and on the portrait here, the background got a little washed out. It was a little too dark. But every time you do one of these projects, you learn a little bit more. So if you're curious as to what I was using to engrave, I was using the LX Maker LX Laser A3 with the 1.6 watt head uh, or 1600 milliwatts. Uh, and then I was using T2 laser version 1.5C to control the laser engraver. So I uh, hope you like this project. If you have any ideas for future projects, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you.